Good day, everyone. As we looked at in our previous lecture, one of the main responsibility of a drone pilot is to maintain the drone as well as the ground station. Since the drone is flown by the pilot through various conditions, it is his responsibility to make sure that for every flight, the drone is ready and there is no mid-flight, any just to avoid any mid-flight crisis. Let's look at it in detail. What are the maintenance that are required for the drone or during before the flight and also for the ground station also. Let's look at it in our upcoming slides. What are the maintenance requirements of the drone? First, the drone pilot has to make sure that the GC of the drone is clean from any mud or dirt. Depends on where the drone pilot is flying the drone, the drone always has a small amount of dirt or mud always accumulated on it. So in order to avoid any accumulation of mud and dirt, which can lead to a problem later on, the drone pilot has to make sure that the GC of the drone is clear from any mud or dirt. Next, the drone pilot has to make sure that there are no loose screws on the drone, drone that is flying. What will happen is because of these loose screws, many times the drone, uh, any of the drone parts can suddenly fall off. If it's the payload, it can actually result in the damage of the payload also. So it's always better to check before flight and even after flight whether there are any loose screws that happened. So that's to make sure that there is no sudden failure of any parts or the, any part does not suddenly fall down. Next is checking the propellers for damage or uh, and free spin. So what happens is as you use propellers more and more, there are these small amount of cracks or chips that are that start coming from the propeller depending on the kind of material. So you have to make sure that the propeller is flight worthy so that it suddenly does not fade when in flight. Because what will happen there, the drone might suddenly crash. Okay. Also, you have to make sure that there is uh, the propellers are freely spinning. If the propellers are not freely spinning, there can be two possible reasons. One is where the propeller attached and the motor attached, it's not working properly. Or is there, there is some dirt also accumulated over there, which the pilot has to clean. What happens if it is not done? All your propellers are not moving in the same way. So if a pilot command is given, and if there is some issue while spinning of the propeller, the propeller might not respond as per the pilot command. So it, there might be a difference, which might cause an instability of the drone. So you have to make sure, the drone pilot has to make sure that the propellers are working fine and they're damage free. Another thing, along with the propellers, the drone pilot has to make sure that the motors are free from debris or any obstructions. The drone pilot has to make sure that the motors are not getting too much heated. It is not actually getting any damage during flight. Because one of the things that I've observed is, whenever a drone pilot has not checked the motors, uh, many times suddenly the motors go in flames, or many times uh, that's where the maximum damage happens. And motors being the most costliest part, you don't want to happen that. So it can always be averted by checking whether there are any types of debris, obstructions, whether the motors are working at the most optimal conditions or so. Finally, the drone pilot has to make sure all the wiring and solar joints are intact and they are not, not uh, even slightest of the form ready to break. So what happens is, especially these joints between the connections where you have used solder, over time what happens is they start becoming loose or start breaking off or so. And suddenly you will find a malfunction occurring in the drone. So as to avoid that, you have to make sure that all these wirings and solar joints are intact and well. So if there is a required of a resorting of any joint, the drone pilot has to do it before the drone is actually flown. So these are the maintenance parts that the drone pilot has to make sure before or even after the drone has been flown or so. What are the maintenance requirements of the ground control station? First, the remote control antenna. Is the antenna working optimally? Because the ground station is a communication link between the pilot and the drone. If there is a problem with the antenna, the pilot can suddenly lose its control or its communication with the drone. So it is important that the antenna is working fine. Next is your remote control or chassis. Since, so this is what I have observed is many times the drone pilots are so engrossed in their flights, they don't see that there is a crack on the remote controller or the GC of the remote controller is broken or so. And suddenly you get is a shock or you suddenly get uh, something in your hand from the remote controller that actually diverses, diverges the attention of the pilot. And since the drone is moving at such a high velocity, even a small attention diversion of the pilot can lead to a fatal crash of the drone. So 
So you have to make sure that the remote control is not damaged at all before the flights. Now, you, the the range extender transmitter whether they are working properly. So many times, what happens is for long distance missions, you put these range extenders or transmitters, and before you starting the mission, you have to make sure that they are working fine, they are maintained properly. Because what happens is if if the drone goes beyond the range of the remote control, it relies on this transmitter and receiver extender. So if the, the the extender is not working properly, then what happens? The drone loses its contact, and then it suddenly drops off or it strays away. So you don't want to break a drone or damage a drone because of your range is transmitter or receiver not working properly or not maintained maintain properly. Next is control station smartphone. Since many times what happens is you connect your smartphone to your remote controller, you have to make sure that the smartphone is well charged, it's working properly, there is no cracks in the screen or so because that will uh, obstruct any readings that are being seen by the pilot. So you have to make sure that the smartphone as well as the computer, if you're having a, the, the relays through a computer, if the computer is also acting while it's receiving the videos or so, you have to make sure that the ground station computer and the smartphone are working fine. So the drone pilot's responsibility is not only to maintain the drone as well as the ground station. So the ground station where all the antenna, the transmitter, receivers, phone and computer, the drone pilot has to make sure everything is working fine so that he is not diverted or there is a malfunction or stability issues, especially because of the ground control problem. We will look at some more of these maintenance uh, parts in an upcoming slide. Thank you very much.